last night, I actually got a chance to be able to check out the Super Mario movie that was released on Wednesday, which is pretty surprising, but actually makes perfect sense because over the weekend was Easter weekend and it starts off with Good Friday. And that's actually a very serious religious holiday. Instead, um, they released it on Wednesday good two days ahead of traditional movie release and by god it is a must watch i'm gonna do my best not to talk about any sort of spoilers for this this one you have to see for yourself i think the voice actors did a great job portraying the characters it's funny because on a recent news i've heard people uh stated that chris pat pratt who played Mario sounded more New Jerseyan than Italian American. Like, how does a New Jerseyan sound like? I I'm sorry, no disrespect, but I I don't even know I, I don't even notice the difference. So to say, the best thing I can say from my experience of watching this movie is so much fan service, so much nostalgia that the film throws at you. It throws you so many shades of uh, 1980s vibes to the 1990s all the way to today. It throws you some Easter eggs from not only the Super Mario world, but other, other uh, gaming universe as well. And if you're someone who has a deep, rich history of not just Super Mario Brothers, or Super Mario World, or whatever game that you ever played from the Mario universe, but rather a vast majority of Nintendo itself, their other games, uh, their, the other characters and such, it's actually something that you're going to enjoy. As far as someone who has no idea on what Nintendo is, uh, no idea on the characters or such, it's actually a very interesting um, animated film like uh illuminations done a great job creating this uh the mario universe one thing that i've gotten when i played super mario uh from the 1985 edition is that there's really no story you don't know who, who uh the the history of mario you don't know why he got him uh was teleported into this magical world which is the mushroom kingdom all you know is that you're this hero who entered in this world who is set to rescue the princess from an angry dinosaur and i guess at that time it's a dragon but it's a dinosaur and it's not bowser but king koopa <laughs> which later would be Bowser. And that's about it. But the film does a great job ah, giving you a story. How Mario and Luigi slowly rose up to becoming heroes of not only their own world, but the Mushroom Kingdom as well. Ah, music is just is fascinating. They do have licensing music, but it matches very well with what's going on with the film, especially with uh, remixes or some orchestra style of past Mario games, you could be able to notice uh, either game, uh, either film, uh, music from the Mario Kart series, music from the retro Super Mario series, or even from what I'm trying to be able to find, the told uh adventure game though i would say the taking what a, what is that game i've never played it <laughs> oh boy but music you're gonna be able to enjoy it it's so crazy how lovable these characters are you're gonna enjoy not only the protagonist and the side characters but also the antagonist of the series i think jack black uh, jack black who played bowser has done a great job in terms of his presentation his intimidation even down to bowser singing like 
again i am not gonna do any spoilers but that one scene if it wasn't for one movie goer laughing his ass off that got the crowd involved laughing at uh at bowser and his talent i would have felt like that scene would be cringe it was cringe from the start but I gotta give it up to that movie goer. He has done a great job getting the crowd involved, laughing at Bowser. And it's very, it feels surprisingly short. Like, I would expect the movie to go for like two hours or, or so, like feel long because we really have to grasp not only uh, Mushroom Kingdom, but other worlds as well, the underwater world, the uh, underground world, the desert world, Bowser's castle, so on and so forth. It just feels pretty short, yet satisfying at the same time. I don't find anything wrong with the film. If there's one thing that I have a little trouble with the film, they haven't, they haven't really gotten majority of the other characters as well and you're probably gonna notice that there's gonna be like some cameos here and there of certain characters but that's not the definitive characters or maybe lacking of some of the notable characters from pat from past mario games but they're probably gonna be saving it in the future if the movie is very successful overall Definitely advise watch the film. Okay, grab a, a grab your family. Even if even if it, if you're not big on Mario, uh, your kids will definitely love them. Okay, your kids gotta be able to love this film because it really done a great job showing Mario at uh, I would say his low point, but rising to become the hero that we've known from the NES days. And hopefully they'll make a sequel in the future, okay? Again, no spoilers on this one. If you have seen it, you've already known what uh, what pretty much happened. But my best advice, head off to your nearby film. Take a good weekend off just to see the uh, movie. If you can stream it, stream it. Show support because it's been 30 years since we had a Mario movie. And in my opinion, this is a great redemption film compared to what has happened 30 years ago. But then again, 30 years ago feels like a guilty pleasure because that first movie, it was bad. But looking at it today, it's actually pretty enjoyable to watch because of so many Easter eggs of their own kind in that film. Plus, a little bit of nostalgia wouldn't hurt from the old Mario uh, film, but this one is a must watch. So my best advice, if you have to, save, uh, grab a friend, grab some popcorn, grab some soda, head off to your nearby theater and watch the Super Mario Brothers movie. Definitely, you gotta watch it, man.